Well, hello YouTube. My name is Nicholas Ann Blitz, and today we are going to be talking about the worst video game systems that have ever been invented or something like that, yeah. From everything that I've ever seen, the Virtual Boy was probably one of the worst video game inventions ever. Like, look at this. I mean, first of all, like, how the hell would you wear that? Like, God. I mean, I've never tried it out by, like, myself, because I don't know. <laughs> no. I mean, like, when you wore it on your head or face or whatever, I mean, there was, like, no possible poses for you to like actually do like me and another thing is it runs like with batteries like so freaking fast like they must have had some kind of deal with energizer or something because if you had it you would be running to the store every day like five times like it can't it, it you it used like six batteries every time you wanted to play. I don't remember if you put it on like the controller or whatever. But as one of the worst failures of inventions, this probably qualifies. Now now number nine. Xbox three six No, I'm just kidding, that's the best. The best. I could barely think of them because a lot of video game systems were good. And even though this is like the first video game system ever, I would still have to stay as number nine. The Odyssey would be probably. <laughs> I'm not even sure if this counts as like the worst one because I mean, this was made like. The 1800, I don't know what the hell it was made, like 1940. I mean, it was amazing at this time, at that time. But now, it's bull. Now, this thing, this thing was pretty stupid, but still, it is pretty cool. I mean, look at the box. So cool. But the controllers are not a so cool. I mean, how are you supposed to hold that? And then you didn't even extend that far. Like. <laughs> so the whole point of it was. You got um, uh, two. Like two, two rectangular thingies on the screen. And you just move them around. I mean, it has to. It is a completely two player game. Like you couldn't play it single player. So, I mean, they give you, I mean, it was just a screen with, you know, things on it. So, you put this thing on top of your screen, and it would, like, be a specific game, like hide and seek and stuff. But, let's just move to the next one before people start spamming comments about how this is not actually... A bad video game system, but I don't care. Number eight. So, yeah, number eight is probably, I don't know, the Atari. I mean, it sold pretty well, but I mean, it was just pretty stupid to me. I mean, there was two buttons. There was a joystick and a button. I mean, come on. I mean, it had some decent controls on it, but, you know, it had some decent games on it, but... Actually, the game sort of sucked. I mean, yeah, you should watch the Angry Video Game Nerd. Let's just move on to number seven. Number seven. Well, why are you looking over there? Stop it. 
Oh yeah, one more time, one more thing about it. Um, and now it's like forty dollars, sixty dollars, and something at like three stars. Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. Computer. Okay, so my battery just freaking died on this thing. I only have twenty percent battery left, so that's Definitely good. No, it's terrible. Whoa. Okay, so continuing. What was I doing? So I was on like number seven. Right, I need to check the video. Okay, so I figured out that I was on number seven. Yeah, so number seven. Okay, so number seven is the Sega 32X from 1994. I mean, it was a bad idea from the start. It it was an add-on to the Sega Genesis. So the Sega Saturn released the following year how this typed. Developers were never interested. Only 40 games were ever made for the 32X. Well, that boasted of having 32-bit graphics. Few developers took advantage of this. In the end, only six, 650,000 units were ever sold. I mean, that seems a lot, but it's not really, because the Xbox 360 has over, like, 500 million. I don't know. But, um, I uh, forgot to show you a picture of it. Yeah, here's the thing. Yep. The Sega 32X 1994. So, number six. The Worlds of Wonder Action Max from 1987. So... Okay, so let me check. <clears throat> World of Wonder Action Max 1987. The Action Max attempted to create video games with VHS tape. Ta VHS tape, seriously. Users would use the controller, which was a. a light gun. A light gun to shoot at the moving targets on the screen. If, it, if you hit the target, you get points. Aside from that, there wasn't much else you could do. Unsurprisingly, only five games were ever released for the Action Max. Yeah, un unsurprisingly. Okay, so I can't tell if this one's this next one. The Apple Bandai Pippin. Pippin. From 1980, 1996. Here's a picture. Yeah, it sort of looks like a ripoff from the Xbox, but... I don't know. I mean, the Xbox came out after this, pretty sure. But anyway, not unlike Microsoft with the Xbox One, Apple Apple attempted to create a multimedia platform with Pippin, licensed to third parties. Only Bandai ever produced a console for them. At six hundred dollars, the poorly marketed the per, the Pippin struggled to the to attract game developers and so. And unsurprisingly, again, Steve Jobs killed the Pippin platform when he returned to Apple in 1997. So that's number six, I believe. This this next one, number five, is, or is it number four? I'm just going to go with number four. This one's 3DO Interactive Multiplayer from 1993. It's pretty, pretty originally named, like... Seriously, the 3DO Interactive Multiplayer. The brainchild of EA founder Trip Hopkins. The 3DO was introduced in 1993 as yet another CD-based multimedia platform. Oh, that's so good. However, the price of $600 again. Few consumers understood why they needed a CD-based multimedia platform. The 3DO was discontinued in 1986. That's all you need to know. But this thing, I mean, look at the controller, it looks so stupid. 
Okay, so I just freaking, my battery died like for the fifth time. And I, on my iPhone, I just freaking made an outro. I made, I made like the rest of the stuff. And luckily, I still have time to do it again. <gasps> so, um, whatever number, Philip CDI 1991, I lost track. You know, you, okay, so here's the writing. As of what I remember, I didn't do this one. Worlds of Wonder Action Max, 1987. And I know 100% that I didn't do this one. I mean, if you keep pausing the video and stuff, then, I mean, you can read it and I mean, the video is already like 10 minutes, so don't expect more from me. Said the cat in the hat as he rose from something. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see you guys next.